and welcome to 4000 and Counting. I'm Wati, this is Mark, and today we're bringing you an episode that we didn't particularly want to be doing, and if you're easily offended, I would suggest you probably give this one a miss, because this is going to be emotional, it's going to be raw, and yeah, there's going to be a, a probably a few bad words getting chucked in and around the mix. Mark, the news has come out about the autopsy results of Alex Graham. And it was none other than Sheffield star journalist, hack piece of shit, Bob Westerdale, who has come out and ultimately laid Alex's autopsy results for the world to see. Now, we're not going to get into the, the ins and outs of Alex's death, but as everybody knows, Alex was a friend of the show. Not only was he a former podcast guest, he played in our charity game, and he's just a lad that we had all the time in the world for. Mark, how did you feel when the, the news broke this week and the way it broke? Well, I have to be honest, I haven't actually clicked it and read it. I don't want to. I don't need to. I've seen the comments, and it's 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 disgusting. I, I don't like to... I always try to, like, not swear on here, like, genuinely. It's You're quite fucking disgusting. It is. I'm sorry. It's fucking disgusting. Well, I feel for his parents. I feel for his girlfriend, um, his teammates. I think Jack Jack Brammer summed it up perfectly in an Instagram post. He just called him a cunt, <laughs> and I was like, "Yep, yep." Now we've obviously put some things out on Four Thousand Counting page. Thank you to everyone that shared pictures of Alex. We really do appreciate that. Let's yeah. let's flood the internet with pictures of Alex doing good things and celebrate his talent. Ultimately, he sadly lost his life, and I can't imagine what his family, his girlfriend, teammates all going through to now have to to redo that, but under the guise of public interest. That's what fucking gets my back up. It's not the public interest. The public, we're all happy not knowing. And Dave Cloutman said it best in, in a comment on our, one of our Facebook posts this week. He said, those that needed to know already knew. Right, that's it. Like, yep. those that needed to know knew. It's, I get it. People, people, let's play devil's advocate. People saying he's a journalist, he's a journalist and he's, he's posting about stuff that is related to hockey. Not one mention of fucking Steelers winning three Champions League games. Nothing. Sensationalism journalism. Clickbait bullshit. Now, yeah. uh, understandably, we're pissed off. His teammates are pissed off. No doubt his mum and dad are going to be pissed off. Abby's going to be pissed off. The British ice hockey public are upset. They feel sick to their stomachs that his parents are going to have to relive this in, in the public domain, which is absolutely shocking. This is not the first time Bob has done this. I'm going to cast back to a Facebook post that we made, I believe it was Ju July, let me find it right now. We made a Facebook post on July the 30th. Once again, an absolutely disgusting article in the Sheffield Star from Bob Westerdale how many times do we have to put up with this clown? And the reason that that is, and, and I'll I'll link this back to Gemma Hart, Andre's former partner, Ollie's mum, Pisy's boy, um, Bob, who made I uh, may I add was a friend of Andre's, along with a Sheffield star. They put an article out which very little truth in, but they again laid the autopsy results out from Andre's death and fabricated because i've known what happened to andre since day one the minute i found out what happened to andre i already knew because people that were meant to know knew and the fact that that got posted the way it did that was enough to make me sick and now he's done it again but he seems to get a free pass this guy let's not forget he was also the fucking same dickhead that shared a photo of Adam Johnson lying on the ice and is taking his final breaths. And that should have been the last time that man ever reported 
on ice hockey in this country. It should have been the last time that man ever stepped foot in an ice rink in this country. Where does it stop, Mark? Because he doesn't seem to be getting the message. It doesn't, and it's clickbait, and a lot of journalists, not just him, but journalists seem to get a free, like you said earlier, they seem to get a free pass. I think, you know, there, there seems to, uh, there are some good journalists out there, and there are some horrendous journalists, like really, really bad. And Bob is one of those. I'm sorry to say it, but I, I have to say it, he's, that's terrible journalism. And I know there's good stuff and bad stuff in journalism, but sometimes we need morals and some empathy of situations. And he hasn't showed that at all. And I know journalism is a tough job. I'm not defending him, but you need to have like some thought before you put stuff out there. I know there's unpleasant stuff in the world to write about, but there's just some things that you don't need to say. Yeah. There's things that you don't need to show. And one again, of the comments, Mark, one of the comments on, on our page, I said maybe several comments on our page. If he didn't post it, no one else would. Well, I call fucking bullshit because nobody else posted about Paisy. Nobody else posted about Alex. Yeah, we know the coroner's results were out. So what? Like, we didn't report on it. None of the other hockey podcasts reported on it. No, but people like people it's know none of our business. It, like, it, absolutely, it, it's, it's you know, like you said, the people that need to know know that is it. Like, if you want to find out, I'm sure you can go and do it, but you're not going to go and go, oh, look at this. And no, no you, you, do you know what? You pay respects, you say rest in peace, you keep the news to yourself, you keep it away because you respect the family, you respect the friends, you respect the club. That's what it's about. Like, if you want to know, just know, but don't put it out there and make yourself look like an absolute loser. Well, the thing that also got my back up and many other people was he shared it to his personal Facebook page with RIP, lad. Take your RIP and stick it up your fucking hoop, Bob. How can you share that article where... And let's not also forget... Another couple of couple of things that are going to come out right now that might not have, but well, I've been sitting on for a little while. Obviously, the initial Alex getting kicked out of GB twenties, it was Bob who reported on it. The fact that Alex had been drinking on the plane. Again, we all knew that. Anyone that was in the hockey circles, anyone that was connected closely to the GB program, knew what was going on. But Bob, in his wisdom, felt the need to put it out there and kick him around when he was down. Now, that was the – I've never particularly liked Bob, but I never had any kind of strong feelings either way. When he did that, I started to really dislike him. Now, Martin Peters said, hopefully now that your top two results have come out – and sorry if I'm paraphrasing, Martin, because obviously we have hundreds of comments. But he said there was rumours at the time that Alex was taking recreational drugs and that was the cause of his death. Now, I've got a voice note on our Twitter from a former player saying that Bob, and this is going back months and months and months, that Bob had told him that Alex had passed away because of cocaine. Which, again, your top two results are out there. We're not going to get too far into it. But it was false information. That was, that was, that was another straw that broke the camel's back for me. Um, I don't know how he how he does it, why he gets off on it, but he he seems to get off on it. He's probably going to get off on this video, Bob. If you're watching, go fuck yourself. Stay the fuck away from me. If you say see me at playoffs and that, it would be in your best interest. Um, like it's it's not okay. And we also saw a post, and I don't want to butcher this, so I'm going to go back and find it right now. Former Great Britain, uh, no, sorry, former Sheffield. Steelers defenseman and Great Britain defenseman Sam Jones put a post out, which we've shared on 4,000 and counting this week. Fair play, Sam, by the way. Took a lot yes. of time to do that. Um, yeah, fair play. There, there's a reason we came together as a team and demanded Bob Westerdale never step foot in the arena again. 
it seems as though nothing's changed. What a sad little life he must live. He was a scumbag before, and he clearly hasn't learned anything from his actions since last year. Well said, Sam. Spot on. If your hometown club don't even want you in the rink, it's time to fucking wrap it up here. You're an old man. You're a fucking has-been, never been, never was. Just stay the fuck away from our game. Like, seriously. I said this would be a motive, and I said there might be some bad words in there. Trying to keep a lid on it. And I can feel myself getting more pissed off as we go on doing this. I want to remember the good times. I want to remember the wild thing. And like, go back. I encourage everybody go listen to Alex Graham's episode. It was before he went off to the OHL. Go listen to Pisces episode. There's some great stories. And then if you go and listen to the late the later Pisces episode when we was trying to get this GMHL thing off the ground, um, he's just he was a good dude. And the fact that he chose Pisces' birthday to release the autopsy results kind of shows you what sort of man he is. Our, our thoughts remain with Ollie and Gemma, obviously, and anyone that's related to Alex and everybody there, because what Bob did is upset an 11 year old child. And for me, that's not fucking okay. We raised a good amount of money for Ollie on the back of Pisces death. And that allowed him to go to North America to to be with Patty. Uh, oh, I can't remember his dad's name off the top of my head. Sorry, forgive me. Um, but to be with the family. And that was a huge thing for us to do that. Like, I felt proud to do that. And that's, that's what the hockey community should be doing in a situation like this. We shouldn't be kicking a man while he's down. And we also shouldn't be gutter pressing those that are no longer with us, especially when they happen to be friends of ours. And all the stories that have come out today, we shared a post um, just to say, you know, we're thinking of Paisy. It's been a couple of years. We missed the big man, the big brute. And there's go on our Facebook page. There's some brilliant stories about Paisy. And it's all about how good he is with the kids, how good he was with the kids and like how he taught kids to take their first crossovers or shoot their first park or coached them on the first camp. They're the sort of things that we should be remembering these guys for, remembering them for their talents on the ice and remembering them for the human beings they were off the ice. Both both great That's boys. Yeah. Um, and I can't say the same about Bob. Um, gutted that we had to make this video. And hopefully... <clears throat> Hopefully that's the last we see of Bob, but, you know, I can't see it. Um, I don't know. I feel kind of fucking done in after that. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what to add to it. It's horrible to do these kind of videos. I don't like to talk down on people, but, like, I really don't like to talk down on people, but I'm sorry, but Bob, you deserve, like, like, we need to stay within reason here about how we're we're saying stuff to him. Uh, he deserves every criticism for what he's done. Absolutely. My All thing. I say is stay within reason, folks. Don't start being... Yeah, I agree. Over, don't start being overboard. Give him the criticism that is due, but As part just of, know the line. Yeah. Just know part the of the reason why I wanted to do it here, I'm not going to mince my words, but you can see me here. I'm not hiding behind a keyboard. I'm not hiding behind the written word. I am looking down the camera and... You know, I'm directing this bit at you, Bob. Hang it the fuck up, man. Hang it up. Enjoy your retirement. Stop bringing stress to your family. I mean, when you had to cancel your Twitter last year and take your ex down or whatever the hell it was, that should have been a pretty good indication that it was time to wrap it up. And you've had a couple of own goals since then. It's, yeah, it's time to go bye-bye, my friend. Uh, ladies and gents, we said that was going to be emotional. It was emotional. <sighs> Just thinking about our boy, AG21, AP7. We we miss you guys. We love you guys. And uh, all, all the best to your families. And, yeah, yeah, we're sorry you're going to have to, to go through this again. It's shit. But um, we send you all the love in the world. 
ladies and gents um we will see you for another episode very very soon hopefully it'll be a little bit more cheery i'll be a little bit less pissed off um it's it's sad but yeah peace folks peace